Hey guys, um, I'm upgrading my batteries today. I say upgrading, I'm adding more batteries today. So I thought it'd be helpful to uh, show the group what it takes to move your batteries to the inside of your camper. So I'm just gonna give you a brief overview here of the steps involved in that. Step one, remove the couch from your Murphy bed. There's a, two screws, one on each corner of your Murphy bed. You remove those screws and the couch portion of your Murphy bed just lifts straight off, giving you access to the, to the underside. Obviously, you gotta take your cabinets out as well. Um, so you remove all that, you got good access. What you'll find underneath your bed is the controller for your slide out. And those wires are entering from underneath through a hole that's already in your camper. It's full of foam. You're gonna have to cut that foam out and then replace it with some more of the great stuff, expanding foam when you're done with the, with the job. Um, a couple things to keep in mind, you have to make sure that you're putting sealed batteries if the batteries are going inside of your camper. You cannot put a standard deep cycle lead acid battery inside those batteries off gas and it's bad for you. So you gotta have a sealed lithium battery like the Battleborn that I have here or Lion Energy or you know some form of sealed battery, whether it be a lithium or a um, sealed AMG um, deep cycle battery. So that's the first thing to keep in mind is have the right batteries. Number two, take your couch off. Number three, take the foam out from that hole right here. And now we're gonna go outside and I'm gonna show you um, what's required on the outside and underneath your camper as well. Okay, we're outside and step two is going to be on your tongue, you're gonna to just remove the batteries that you have in there on there right now. I've already done that and replaced that space with my toolbox, but that's what you're gonna do is just remove your batteries, disconnect them. Um, you know, uh, step one, before you do all of this, make sure you take your battery disconnect and disconnect all of your batteries from the system. Um, that should have been step one, but I digress. Um, now I'm gonna go underneath the camper and show you what to look for. Okay, I'm underneath my camper, hi. Um, so right now the camera is facing towards the front of the camper, so um, you know, here's, Here's my, here's my toolbox up here. This is where your batteries just came from. And so the battery cable from your batteries comes down and connects to this uh, little uh, bus bar right here. All the 12 volt connections are energized from this point. Your can't whole camp, your whole 12 volt system is energized from this, um, this bus bar right here. So all you're gonna do is remove your battery cable off of this bus bar and then run it up into your underbelly. You'll see where the wires all come up into the underbelly over here. Um, so what you have to do for that is pull down this front corner of your underbelly. You're, there's some screws that you remove. There'll be some foam that's sealing this corner up here. You have to cut all that foam away and then replace it with some more of the great stuff spray foam when you're all finished. But it's as simple as taking the connection from this point, instead of going up to your tongue, you're going from this point up into your underbelly and then through the hole that you have access to from inside your camper. And then once you have that wire rerouted up inside there, you just screw your underbelly back up and get some more of that great stuff foam and spray it in there to keep it all sealed up again. Um, but it's not that difficult. It seems intimidating, but it's actually not that hard. Okay, so once you've got your batteries, uh, you know, back up through this hole here, um, all you gotta do is connect them in the same way you had it connected on your tongue, just positive to positive, negative to negative. If you've got two batteries, you're just gonna, you know, jumper them in parallel like you had them on your on your tongue as well. Um, you won't have to deal with all this stuff like I've got here. This is just for my solar setup, um, for my inverter and the battery monitor and all that stuff. Yours will just be really simple. You just run the wire up through the hole, connect your batteries in here instead of connecting them out on your tongue. Um, I've got the 
um, batteries held in place. They're just sitting here. And what I've got is just some strips of wood here to keep them from sliding around. Um, the weight of the batteries is enough in and of themselves to keep them in place and just keeping them from sliding there. So um, that's the overview of what it takes to put your batteries inside your camper. I hope this helps. And if you want to tackle this project, I hope you feel empowered to go do it. Have some fun.